So in order to install uh, Django, we need to have pip install Django. If it is already installed, one second, I'm getting a call. Assume the recording. What is happening? So if you have already installed, what is happening? If you have already installed, uh, it will give you a bus. I have uh, already done with the installation. Please go and check. So we can check the version with using Django at uh, minus admin hyphen hyphen version. Clear? Right. So now, once you install Django, okay, you can create n number of projects. You can create n number of projects. And inside the projects, we can have n number of apps. Apps means each and every page is my app. I can build each and every page as an app so that I want to reuse some code as yes, I can reuse, or I want to maintain a separate code for each and every app I can maintain. Right? Like if you take a bank, it will have a mutual fund section different, it will have a life insurance section different, normal financial accounting and all it's a different. different. Not everything into one page, right? So this kind of sections will be different. So now again, go to Flipkart, a grocery, grocery section will be different. Amazon Pay will be different. Your normal Amazon will be different, right? Everything is a different. So each and every section will be an app to us. What is that? Apps to us. So now how do you install, uh, how do you create apps? Not install, how do you create apps? How do you create a project? Okay, at the end of the day, how do you create a project? Today, what we are going to see is a basic sample example. Like, we will create a project. We'll create a project. We'll understand, first of all, how will we display a hello world in that? Further, what we will do, we will understand how we will send the data to the page from our code and further what we will see, we will see how to display a CSV data, what we read, what we read, a CSV data into a tabular format onto the page. Now till now what we were doing, we were displaying in the spider editor only. Now I want on a web page, how I will do. So further moving into the fourth step, what we will see, we will see how to dynamically add two numbers. I will have a form. I need to submit two numbers. Okay. Or we can build some login page. Like we will give username and password. Okay. We will give username and password. You need to validate this username and password, whether it is correct or not. If it is a correct, I will just I will move you to one page. If it is a wrong, I will move you to unauthorized page. Are you clear? Right? So these many things we can see. This what this is what core Python Django. We will see. So if you have taken Django explicitly, then we will sit on building what is what is a uh, how we will build an entire application. Okay. So it's like I want to connect to a database through application, that and all I want to display, that we will see. Otherwise, if it's a core Python, we will stop there while adding the data. That's it. Okay. Right. So this is only like the four steps only will take at least two days. Okay. That is the reason. Right. Now coming on to the projects. Already I have created one project. Okay. What is that project you have created, sir? Is what? So if you understand here, so we, we we will create one projects folder where I my all my projects will be there. Where my all my projects will be there. Where my all my projects will reside. Okay, that is with the CD projects. So now we will move on to so let's we will move on to that particular folder already created folder. Yes, CD projects. Right. Once you create a project, I want to create a huh? uh, 
I want to start a project. I want to start a project. Now I have a project folder inside that I will have n number of projects. Now what my point is, I want to start a project. So now what is the code? What is the point we need to see here? Django minus admin start project project name. My my Django is my project my project name. Once I create this, okay. Once I create this, what and all I will have? We need to see. Once I create this, so already my Django is there. So now we will see dir. So already my Django has been created. How we will create my Django? Django minus admin start project project name. Start project project name. What is that? Django minus admin start project project name. This is the way we will start a project. We'll create a project, not start a project. We'll create a project. We'll create a project. Clear? Some J. J. Right. Okay. Super. Now, once I create a project, once I create a project, right? So I need to move inside to the project. What's that? CD my 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 so now inside this if you observe you have manage.py file manage.py file okay this manage.py file is the heart of my project manage.py file is my heart of my project so yeah yeah Projects here back on there. Yella projects so other little way. Okay, is there in a gide? Either a lay my Django is there. Okay, my Django, my Django created inside my Django. Barry folder a la Martogi, Namuk heart and on Sandra manage manage py manage dot py without this. It is very difficult without this you can't run anything because if you see here it will it has a main function which will talk to my osn system okay are you clear right in order to run this in order to run this project okay in order to run this project so now if i say i i am inside my tango project so i'll say cls again if I say CLS, if you understand, oh, along with those. So, so let us create another project. What is that? What, what, what did I say? Django minus admin start project. Okay. My Django ne galaba. Yeh mana just put demo Django. It will create that project. Yard create this now. My Django lobby now. It's now. Okay. Level them. Awesome level. Okay. One angel them. CD. Not that. So now we came here. Demo Django. Came. So as you asked, manage that. So now if you create a project, what it will be there? It will be have a folder and manage. That's it. Not other. So inside demo Django, again you will have URLs. Okay. Where all my where all my URLs will be specified. Where all my page URLs will be specified. I can have n number of pages, like HTML pages and all. Okay, all my URLs connections will be specified. Where you will give URLs? Where see? Where you will give uh, files? HTML files? Yes, we will keep HTML file in template folder. In a template folder outside, like uh, inside a project. Okay, outside the project. Okay, we will create inside a project. We will create a template. All my HTMLs will be present. Well, what is that? Okay. For that, for first, in order to load this project, in order to edit this project, we will go to a Visual Studio Code. What is that? Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code. So now, in order to load my project,
but it's already my Django I, I have loaded. So you can go and open this and say load Django. Open the Django, uh, this one, and it will load the Django. Okay. Now what I said, my HTML pages are here. Yes, my HTML pages are here. My HTML pages are here. So what I do, I will not do this first. So what I will do, I will copy this code and I will keep the side. Keep the side. One second, I come. I didn't complete it. I didn't complete my class. Give me some time. Give me a break. What is this? What? This is my home dot HTML. So let us consider we have home dot HTML. Home dot HTML. So in order to run my server, I didn't run the server. Still, I have created a project. I have created only a project. I have not done anything. I have created a project. I want to create an app. I want to create an app. What is this app is going to do? This app is going to do a yeah? We are going to build a some addition of two numbers. So that's what our file was. So that is nothing but calc. Calc is my app. Calculator. Addition of two numbers. Yado. Ye na adhu esu kodu. Calc kanthane kodu be kwa anthi illa. Oda? Ye na adhu kodu. In x, y, z, n esu kodu. Nan esu kodu. Okay. Adhi yeng kodu adho. It's the next question. Python manage py. You are project Walagade, okay. Project Walagade in the one folder manage py matra. A manage py to one do not need a start app. Start app is a command and your app name is a calc. How the you are now in Madrid? Ali on to create Madrid, Ali demo jango, Ali in Madrid, demo jango, Ali Mate Ogi now in Madrid. In Madana, demo jangle Python manage P. Python is by default word. How the by default? So you again, what we call manage dot py start app. Okay, non calc madala calc one merge, a non merge. So let just can't open the file manage dot py. No such file or directory exists. Okay, I didn't go inside the projects. No, okay. So now DAR. So I need to go inside demo Django. So how I will go? Demo demo Django. Yes, now I have. Now what I will do? Now I will say Python manage start app calc one. Okay, or I will say my app. Yeah, on the app, my app. Not in Django or Scala. You are what's all on the network. You again, what we can then now. First of all, we need to create a virtual environment for us. Okay, so now what is this virtual environment at all? I'll tell you. Just to, you need to change to, uh, you need to create a virtual environment. Okay, so it's like pip install uh, uh, virtual environment wrapper. So inside a virtual environment, we'll run. Okay, why under I'll tell later. Okay. We need to move to a virtual environment. We have created a virtual environment already called test. So make virtual environment called test. You can create your own virtual environment and we'll run there. Okay. So now what I'll say, I'll say work on test. Okay. Now it is working in test environment. So you can say whatever the virtual environment, you need to create a virtual environment. Where I will run. Okay. Where I will run. So now what I'm saying, I'll say, Start my app. Yes, it created the app. Okay, we will go and see whether the app is created inside the ls demo Django. Demo Django only my app on the Okay, once again inside the my Django, you have again views. Okay, views admin init init visa. What is init? Init method. I'm not going to know. 
ಹಾ ಸೊ ಪ್ರತಿ ಒಂದು ಆಪ್ಗೂ ಇನ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಇವಾಗ ನಾವೇನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ರೂ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ದೊಡ್ಡ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಓಕೆ ಹಾ ಇವಾಗ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಆಪ್ಸ್ ಆಪ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನಮ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಸ್ ಯಾವಾದ್ರು ಯಾವಾದ್ರು ಮಾಡಲ್ ಇದೆಯಾ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ವಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಾಟ್ ತೆಲುಗು ಕನ್ನಡ ಇವರ್ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ನೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಬಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ತ್ರಿವೇಣಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಬಲ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಸೇ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಕನ್ನಡ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಮೈ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಸ್ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಮಾಡಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಮಾಡಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಕೋ ಬಟ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಡೂ ಸಮ್ ಮೈಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಮೈಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ನಾವ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ರನ್ ಏನ್ ಚೇಯಲ್ಲ ರನ್ ಚೇಯಲ್ಲ ಅಂಟೆ ಏನ್ ಚೇಲ ಏನ್ ಸಿಡಿ ಸಿಡಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಹಾ ಪೈಥಾನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಪಿ ವೈ ನಾಟ್ ರನ್ ಸರ್ವರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ರನ್ ಅವರ್ ಸರ್ವರ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ರನ್ ಸರ್ವರ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಜಾಂಗೋ ವಿಲ್ ರನ್ ಸರ್ವರ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಜಾಂಗೋ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಸೇ ಮೈ ಜಾಂಗೋ ವಾಟ್ ಇಲ್ ಸೇ rather than start app i already started a app and i'll say run server is that run server so my server will be coming at http 127008000 so nan ikkagondo browser alli hit madidre automatically nanage html page ondu load agutte ante ಹಲೋ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಹಾ ಈ ಹಲೋ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಬಂತು ಈ ಹಲೋ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಬಂತು ನಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ಏನಿತ್ತು ಏನು ಇದಿಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಇವಾಗ ಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಫೋಲ್ಡರ್ ಒಂದು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋ ಸೊ ನಾವ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಫೋಲ್ಡರ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಒಂದು ಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಫೋಲ್ಡರ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಅ ಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಫೋಲ್ಡರ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೈ ಎಚ್ ಟಿ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಫೈನ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಲ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫೋಲ್ಡರ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಫೋಲ್ಡರ್ ವೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೈ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಮ್ ಬೈ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಐ ಪರ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ನೀವು ಕಲ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ತ್ರೀ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಹೋಗಿ ಕಲಿರಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ತ್ರೀ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಬಿಗ್ ಡೀಲ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ right so now what my point is we have app we have server okay now inside the app okay we we have uh, we have html but it displayed html how we display html is my question so inside the django okay you have what is that urls you have urls okay now ok you are ele illa i have not de- declared any template i have just started my server i have just started my server nothing is there i have just started my server the page will be like this it will lo- it will be a home page for django admin i don't have any defined html i didn't define any template let us consider i have started only server just to only server my page will be like this my page will be like this clear 
So this is the uh, documentation and we'll take you to the documentation. It has a beautiful documentation. Okay, you may not understand. I'll guide you in that. Okay, you may not understand. So now I want to do a Django, read Django about Django and all. Yes, I can. So it is saying, installed work successfully. Congratulations. Whatever I installed. Now, inside the app, I have like I have a HTML page which will be common to all. Okay, I can reuse that to edit the return out. I have an app that is called Calc. So now inside the Calc, I have URLs and views. Now inside the URLs, what I'll say here, if you observe, okay, here if you observe what we are doing, we are doing a So many calls. I don't know why. Right. If you observe here, return HTTP response. So that's why we were reading HTTP request, HTTP response. Right. So that's why why we were reading HTTP yesterday and today morning. We were reading first. Right. Whatever the data it comes, it comes to the project in the format of request. The format of request. If I want to send the data something to something back to the client, something back to the client with the help of HTTP response, I'll say so. Hello world. Hello world. Okay. So now what you have done inside the calc, calc inside the calc, you have created a view. What do you 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 forget about this definition of ad? Okay. You have this only definition of form okay definition of form what happened definition of form in the home when i say home when i load home this response should be automatically added to the page added to the page so inside my page what i will do i will not say anything this is my empty say empty just empty what is what did i define Inside my views, I say if I if I say home, if I call home, what you should display? Hello world with the exclamatory marks. Exclamatory marks. Fine. That should be configured to the path URL patterns. So now I say, okay, you now you should specify. So now it's the root folder when you load a page, you should take home, name called home. Okay, you forget about the hand. You have this only this one, only this one. Right? Once you configure this, once you configure this, the page will not load. You need to configure this app into my project. How will I configure again using my URL patterns? So I will say add the path, add the path. This admin will be by default. So that's why admin site URL. How, how admin came? That's what that was already present. That was already present. That's why it is giving you admin site URLs. Now I want to load my own page rather than the admin page. So now I should say path, okay, path include calculate URL. What calc URL? What is calc URLs? What is calc URLs? This particular home page. So whether this particular home page will come from where path is a URL path, Django URL path. This import should be done. And uh, views is nothing but uh, our home page. You need to load, okay. Our home page you need to load, which is present in template. How you are configuring template? Template is outside. How you are configuring template to load here is from inside the Django, you have settings.py. What is that? Settings.py. Inside the settings.py, you will have directories to configure. In there, you need to configure os.path, join, base directory is our template directory okay what normal people will do a mistake here is you'll do one folder you will configure another folder here. your page may break okay this is a common thing you have html pages that need to be configured to our project outside it is from outside i need to configure anywhere it can be not only here in this below this folder you have some folder specifications like C folder you have. C slash, you should need to say template. Okay. 
So now what happens? The folder name mistake, path mistake, like that you will do. So casually, what you need to do? You need to have a template. What is that? Template. So uh, we have declared a template with an empty HTML page. What is that? Home.html, I don't have anything. But this home.html page should load is what I have configured in calc URLs. Okay, I have binded my app to my project. So in my project, in my project, okay, in my calculate, in my app URLs, I have binded my home page. I have binded my home page. How I am binding now? My views are what is a view? This view is a data which should be present in my HTML page. Like in my HTML page, when I say views.com, display the text card, display the text card, hello world, hello world, hello world. It's uh, first Django. <laughs> right? First Django statement. Clear? So now you again, what is there? URL a low put So first, from first, I will tell you. We have created a project. We have created a project. Inside a project, I have created an app. Okay? Inside a project, again, I have created my HTML pages where it will be stored. That is nothing but template or templates, anything. It can be more than one templates. I have created an empty HTML page. I am not doing anything. So, but my motto is to print hello world. How will I print from my app? I can send. What is that? My, from my app, I will send. What I will send? I'll first of all, I will configure my URLs. What you not URLs? First of all, configure my views. What should I view? It is a home and a request comes from a server, from a server client, client, from a client, from a request comes from a client. What I should do? I should wrap in HTTP response and send my text, my own text. Yes, I am done. App side, I have done. But I need to have a connection between app and the project. How I will do inside the project, inside the project URL, I will go and configure my app URL. So app on the URL, lo, project on the URL. Lo. Flipkart.com add on the URL. Lo. Flipkart.com slash mobiles add on there. Flipkart.com slash washing machines add on the URL. Okay. That's right. So now, now in what there? App we have created. Once we have created an app, we have added path. We have added path. What is the path? Path for viewing that home page. Viewing that home. What is the home? You have declared a function inside the this one. Again, the function can be anything. It should not be home only. I'm saying clearly to you, function can be any name. Any name. Okay. Right. Now, what I want to do, I want to display HTTP response. That's why that is the reason I am asking to configure. Yes, I have configured what happened. You will go to calc URLs. Yes, it went to calc URLs. Calc URLs says home. Inside the home, I say hello world. It's your first Django statement. Aja. Oh, configure modded Malayana once I refresh mod not on the project. Okay, on server restart server So how we'll start my server? I'll go to see uh, prompt inside the projects. All my projects are there. Okay. So inside the pro my project name is Django. Yes. Uh, in order to work on my virtual environment, I should need to move on to test uh, work on test. I say work on test. I say. Okay, work on test. I say so it's done. So I need to start the server. I will how will I start the server? How will I start the server? Who can tell me? Python manage dot py run server. Yes, the server has been started. Server has been started. But it is not loading my page. Yeah, okay. 
ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಲೋಡ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಪ್ಪ ನಾವು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ನಾವು ಬರ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ನಾವು ಬರ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಮಾತ್ರನೆ ಕಳಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೀವಿ ಎಚ್ ಟಿ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಮಾತ್ರನೆ ಕಳಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೀವಿ ಹೌದಾ ನಾವು ಇದು ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಏನು ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಫೈಲ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಹೌದಾ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಫೈಲ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ರೆಂಡರ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ರೆಂಡರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಟಿ ಎಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಪೇಜ್ ನಾನೇನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ನೇಮ್ ಒಂದು ಡಿಕ್ಷನರಿ ಕಳಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಒಂದು ಡಿಕ್ಷನರಿ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಾಟಾ ಕಳಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಜಿಂಜಾ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜಿಂಜಾ ಜಿಂಜಾ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ This format is called as Zinja format. Or you can send your own dictionary. Now, on the file read mark, but on the file display 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 mark. Okay? That's now next mark. First, now when mark is there, on the HTML page, retrieve mark. On the HTML page, we are going to retrieve. First, we can retrieve a HTML page. What we are doing, a HTML page, I am retrieving. With the data. What data? With the data. the data my example we close this product page uh, it is no one goes to maybe connect to the Yeah, I'm going to do this. 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 I'm going to do this
insert from the account and this should have been come and the HTML page is on display and so this is the initial And this is template only. Start project. No, start project now. We will create another app and see whether we have done any mistake. What is that start project? It is start app management. So inside the demo one, nothing will be there. So whereas in Cal class, we have URLs.py, we are configured. So now, if we want to cal uh, ca configure any URLs inside that, so I should say we create a file that's nothing but URLs.py. URLs.py. So what we have done in URLs.py, in URLs.py, we have added a so, uh, we have added a uh, from uh, Django URLs import path and we are configuring the URLs. So, same as my Django URLs, right? Same as my Django URLs. Now uh, we have added this URLs. Let's say this URLs are there, which will call a home, which will call a home. Okay, so my point is uh, which we call the home. Uh, we call the home. Oh, that is there. That is there. 
I need to specify inserts views. In views that is py. What we were doing, we are specifying when home. Okay. The request is there. You return this particular HTTP response. So for that, we need to have from HTTP. Where come this HTTP response will come from? From Django HTTP. Django HTTP. So what is our uh, demo? So we have already a render one. So now we need uh, to have a Django HTTP import HTTP response. That is nothing but a home. On home, it will return a HTTP response. So now in our Django, we will specify the URLs rather than the calculus URLs. What I will specify? Demo one dot URLs. Okay, demo one dot URLs. I specify. It was not recognizing the app previous app because already created on them. Okay, sometimes it behaves odd. Okay, now what happened? It called only a method, but not a HTML page. Now in my HTML page, I need to load, right? In my view, I need to load HTML page. This is my view. I am returning a text only, right? I am returning a text only. So now I want a, what? Not this one. In views. Okay. So what I'll do rather than a text, what I'll do? I'll say return HTML. Return HTML. So first we'll do return HTML. Next we will do later on. Whatever we want. Okay. So in HTML, what I have? HTML, do I have any text? So home.html. Yes, I have hello. Hello, hi. Simple. Hello, hi, I have. So, yes, hello, hi, Kim. How it is ha happening? It is rendering the data. It is rendering the data. Where? From where? In URLs that we you know, in URLs that we use said and in py we say render a HTML, render a HTML, home.html. But I am sending the data, but I am not reading the data. I need to read the data there. So how I will read the data inside a HTML? What I can do? I can do I can say HTML H1. Is the H1 inside the H1. Well, the H1. No, it is a keyword. Render is a keyword. Render is a keyword. Render is a keyword. Okay, and I said hello, hi. Yes, hello, hi, Kim. But I have passed a name, right? I need to display that name. What is that name? My Django. So using a double curly braces. This is a Jinja format. This is a Jinja format. Say this as my first Django. My first Django. So whatever is there in HTML, I am displaying along with that in a from a function, I am passing the data. So whatever the uh, Python functions are there, I can call here. I can write my view. I can I want to inject my data into a HTML page. I can do from uh, views. Okay. Now you display a dictionary. You want to display a dictionary? You can display a dictionary. You can pass the dictionary. So how we will pass? We need to see. So how can I pass a dictionary there now? This ah, and only. How I will pass? Rather than this name, uh, my first Django, I will pass a list. I will pass a list. So can I pass a list? We'll see. Can I pass my list? So will I see? Kim. What we were till now doing? We were doing a spider. Now we are doing into web. 
the spider has put a web. Huh? Which one? That will give you a hard coded text. Hard coded text. It will not give you both. It will give you a hard coded text. Ah, it's calling your own text. This is giving you a dynamic text. Ah, that is hard coded. Now, what you can do in previous to previous class, what we have done, we have connected to database. So from here, I can connect to my database, get the data, and put onto my website. Did you understand? No, we can call it from B. We can call it from B. We can call it from B. Okay. So we see that. Huh. We can what file file? Data frame. Huh. Data frame. Display model. Data display model. I will read the data from CSV file and display the data. So my challenge is here. You take this, you sit down, you are not doing anything. So just creating a project, create an app, combine app to project, combine app to project via HTML page. Display the data of Nobel Prizes here. I'll give a CSV. Anyway, I need to give a CSV file. So my point is you have a CSV file, read it and display here. So what and all we have done? Can anyone tell? Confidently. Uh, uh. Ah, that we will create. That will create anyway. We need to create, no? We need to create. That anyway we'll do. We'll see in next class or next week my point is here what we are doing with django how we are creating a this one how we, i am displaying a html page okay how will i do That's my question okay so now before going to that now if you observe we had a hello html page right clear See, in this particular, this one, we have a, uh, this one called Jinja, okay? So what we are doing, we are displaying the data. We also, we want to import some HTML to HTML. HTML to HTML, okay? We will use an extension called Jinja. Okay, so now this format is also called as Jinja format. What is this? Jinja format. Okay, basically, if you go to Angular and all, they will do this. Angular framework. Angular is another framework, front end framework, which used to design the pages. Okay, okay? you can learn that also. Or a React. So, if I want to display a data on the page, you have a data. Okay, so now let us consider you have a dictionary here where it has printed my list directly here. Right. Same way I can print my dictionary also. Okay. I have a data. I got a data from database and I push here. But I want to push in the format like proper format. So other another point. Okay. So using the angular connectivity that we can. Okay. Even now in Martin. So now first we'll let us go and add some form, some form. What is that? Form, form action. What is a form? What do you mean by form? What do you mean by form? Any form you submit, login form, any form you submit. It should be uh, it, it is carrying a data. It is carrying a data from user to server. It's called form. Form data. 
in the form and of a form only you need submit you need to submit the data okay so now our motto is here yeah, to add two numbers what is that two numbers what is the two numbers it is taking enter first number enter second number right you need to know html for that so now you need to practice html that is up to you okay so now if i say input type submit okay so it's like it will submit the data it will submit the data okay it will submit the data now in order to do this we are having a action called add we are having a action called add so now we need to define a add function add function for this where we need to define in any of the app we can define in any of the app app we can define so how we will define how can i define huh huh not app already app is defined i need to define the function in my app how we we'll define where i need to define inside uh, inside views right uh, how will i define add so add will have a request so all functions will have by default a request okay uh, select self it's like a self uh, so now what i should do huh yeah can i run command uh, add uh, how will i add okay fine we need to return what i need to return what i need to return output of that two variables output of that two variables what i have what are what are the two variables was there what was the two variables i have here in home.html number 1 and number 2 so number 1 and number 2 how i will get via request via request so from where uh, from where i want to take this request huh so i need to define two variables now where one is equal to request dot is a get Let's start get of equal number one. Okay, where two is equal to request dot get of num two. Okay. i want to add this into another variable what is that variable can be some var3 is equal to var1 plus var2 right var2 i have added so now where what should i do return return kya karna hai return render i will display the text on the word request rather than it is uh, where to i will say result i will say result so where i uh, uh, request so now where i should display i should display on result dot html with the taking as a result as a variable correct so result Okay, okay. Now no errors, right? So what should I do? I have added add method. I need to configure this add anywhere. Should I configure this add anywhere? No, to no good. Chappa ya. In your variable, I need to add a path. Path in my URL, I need to not this URL. 
which you are in uh, demo uh, your uh, app path only so i need to specify why error should be a comma so i should have wheels form by default if i don't say anything if i say add it should get the means that add name is equal to add dot add home add function we need to call add function will call result page okay add function will call the result page so we have inside add function we have a result page okay now what happened so we have into this remove that one now there is home data system and okay so i say 33 and 4 so what happened what happened hmm? no where there is there inside my demo inside my demo in views it is not coming to this itself right views dot py line 12 views dot py line 12 where is the line 12 it is saying here what is error object is not callable demo1 dot demo1 views dot py demo1 views dot py line number 12 ah why the error is why the error is Huh. What is the problem again? Line number two sixty-eight. What is the problem now? So it's came now. If you observe, num one is thirty-three, num two is two. It is going to add function. Type error. What is happening? What is happening? it should be a dictionary format right we have not see what we have sent earlier we have sent in a dictionary format now we are not sending in a dictionary format right in a dictionary jinja format we would have sent right so now that is saying we have not sent me in a dictionary format that's the reason it is not coming so what we will say See, I am doing one deadly some mistakes so that what and all mistakes you can cover. Okay, one deadly some mistakes so that you don't want to repeat the same mistakes. Okay. What is happening? What is the data we sent? Why it is? Money, you mind problem. Hmm, who told? Ah, the string. Why? Why it is a string? Wonder who told? 
చెప్పు రా చెప్పు నీకు చెప్పమ్మా ఏమైంది అక్క ఏం అర్థం కాలే ఏం అర్థం కాలే you didn't get you people didn't get our god that is my first question okay you can go back to this uh, first of all basic you didn't did you understand how to load a page that you got how to load a page you got uh, so where did you get didn't get where did you get you did you get first of all how to load a admin page how to add an app you got uh, where did you get give new sign your address okay right views and urls now urls is what you create okay urls is what you create views is already defined and you need to define some definition okay whatever the methods whatever the python code you write that is views that is that's why it is a py file okay that's why it is a py file so now i want to display normal what is a data i can display display data with http response without any html asal template ledu just an html to display cheyala anukunna html ledu apude em chestha apude chestha nenu just http response ledu http response lo wrap chesi response ponchya avuna ipude em chestha nenu http response wrap cheyakunda oka html lo page lo ఆ హెచ్టిఎంఎల్ పేజెస్ ఎక్కడ ఉంటాయి అంటే టెంప్లెట్ లో ఉంటాయి ప్రతి ఒక్క హెచ్టిఎంఎల్ విల్ బి దేర్ ఇన్ టెంప్లెట్ అవుట్ సైడ్ ఐ వాంట్ టు బైండ్ దట్ టెంప్లెట్ టు హియర్ యూజింగ్ రెండర్ ఫంక్షన్ రెండర్ మీన్స్ డిస్ప్లే అదాన్ని ఒక్కొక్క దాన్ని రెండర్ చేయ ఒక్కొక్క లైన్ ని రెండర్ చేయ హెచ్ గిఫ్ట్ ఆ సో దాంట్లో ఏమ ఉంటే ఆ హెచ్టిఎంఎల్ పేజ్ లో ఏమ ఉంటే అది డిస్ప్లే ఇప్పుడు హెచ్టిఎంఎల్ పేజ్ లో ఏం పెట్టాం ఏం పెట్టలా జస్ట్
And uh, before that, what I did, I was rendering a HTML cell. I have rendered a HTML cell. In HTML, so first, by default, say, I don't give any this one. On the admin submitting a little bit. Not the case. In a home, I am there. So first, uh, on load, I have to cross it. I should display my home. That is my home. So that's why I kept up. Uh, in whenever I you home, load a home, load a home, called view called home, load me HTML page. So you write another HTML page and display here. Yeah, it may be admin HTML page or index.html page you map here. In the templates, all my HTML should be in my templates. In my templates, are you clear? So, how we will map this templates in my project? There is a settings that HTML page, HTML settings that PY page. There, I will say map my basic directory to templates. So, today I have mapped this one, tomorrow I will map my models. The models and gaming classes then depend on the classes and depend on models. Our models would have this first map. Other than that, so now my mind is here. You have to define your URL patterns and views. So, three things you need to remember you have HTML. By default, views will be there. Views will be there. So now you are in a views that is considered. For HTML, we need to define a view. Okay. But at the end of the day, views will work via URL. Via URL. So for half level URL first you can configure and project level URL. So you can configure. So in project level URL, we will go. First we will go to project level. Okay. I am saying to include which project, which app URL demo one dot one. Okay. So in order to do that, I should have URL first there. Okay. I have defined URL. What I am saying when I when a call comes, saying that call me demo one slash URL. Here, where I should navigate first is the form data is empty. Go to home function. In home function. I loaded home.html page. Home dot I rendered render means nothing. Load. Load HTML page. I have loaded HTML. Once I have loaded HTML page, once I submit a form, once I submit a form, what I am saying? Add. Okay, again it came here. Again it came here. What is what is saying? It's asking to call a function called call a function in view called add. So inside the add. What I'm saying? Send the add what I'm saying. Add to numbers and display. That is number. Now if I try to add two numbers, but I am not getting addition of two numbers, I am getting a okay, down. Uh, I am getting a Because whatever the data you take in the format of JSON, it will be a string. So from web, every data will come as string. From web, every data it will come as a string. It will not know whether it is integer, whether it is a something, whether it is x, y, z. No. It depends. It depends on the user. So that's why what I need to do. I need to go and say whatever the Python I have learned, it will be useful now here, right? We have shown this also, right? How to convert a value? How to read a value from the console? And we need to convert. Now, once I save this, what I'll do? I'll go back. I'll reload. I'll say.
now it came ipra adama inda confusion confusion unda ipra na lekha so manam first em cheyala edana page entha varu change chesa ante me mana mind lo em undedi database classes mathrame undedi ippudu page lo data em display cheyala ane kuda mana mind lo raval so what i will display also i should get an idea so first time you need to design my html page then i need to come to my designs of classes design of classes that is nothing but view after that I, how i will map my html page to my page is is what you are it's like a t shape you prepare the bar first okay you prepare two things one is a template one is a view very good right you have a template you know that i want to do it two numbers add is not two numbers okay you have taken what you say you have taken this html page this html page okay we need a function to add okay right i have written a function in python where i will write in views now i need to combine this both with the url and i can combine this is the app again this url i have i have framed and i want to push it into my project so this url i will map with my project url clear
ಹಸ್ತಾಂಡ ಒಂದು ಹಸ್ತಾಂಡ ಯಾವ್ದು ಲಾಲಿ ಪಾಪ್ ನಾಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಡು ಎ ಎಸ್ಟಿ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಎಸ್ಟಿ ಎಂ ಎಲ್ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಜಾಮ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಎನಿವೇ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ಅಡಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಡಾಟಾ ಇನ್ ಟು ಡಾಟಾಬೇಸ್ ಡಾಟಾ ಇನ್ ಟು ಡಾಟಾಬೇಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ಹಾ ಮನ ಏನ್ ಚೇಸಾಂ ಆಡ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಬದಲು ನೀ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಚೇಸಾಂ ಮನ ಡಾಟಾಬೇಸ್ ಲೋ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಚೇಸಾಂ ಕದಾ ನೀವೇಂ ಅಕಡೆ ನಿಂತು ತಿಸ್ಕೋದು ಒಕ ಬಟನ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಏನಾನಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಒಕ ಸಬ್ಮಿಟ್ ಬಟನ್ ಬದಲು ಅಕಡೆ ಸಬ್ಮಿಟ್ ಪೇರ್ ಬದಲು ನೀವೇನ್ ಚೇಸಾಂ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಬಿಡ್ತಾ ಓ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಪೆಟ್ಟಿ ಅಕಡೆ ಒಕ ಬಟನ್ ಬಿಡ್ತಾ ಏನಂತಾ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಡಾಟಾ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ ಡಾಟಾ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ ಡಾಟಾ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇ ಚೇಸಂದೆ ಅಕಡ ಆ ರೆಂಡರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಪೇಜ್ ಕೋಡ್ ಬಿಡ್ಕೋ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಪೇಜ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಿಡ್ಕೋ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇ ಓಚಿನ ದಾನಿ ಫಾರ್ ಲೂಪ್ ಲೋ ಉಂಟು ಕಾಬಟ್ಟಿ ನೀವು ದಾನಿ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇ ಚೇಯಾಲ ಅಂತೆ ಏನು ಚೇಯಾಲ HTML ಪೇಜ್ ಲೋ ಫಾರ್ ಲೂಪ್ ರಾಯಲ್ ಎಟ್ಲ ರಾಸ್ತಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅರ್ಥವೇಂದ ಎಟ್ಲ ರಾಸ್ತಾ ಪೇಜ್ ಅಂತ ಕೆಲ್ ನಿಂಚುಕೊಂಡಿರು ಅಕಡೆ ಕೂಡ ಲೂಪ್ ಉಂಟಂದಿ ಏಮ್ ಲೇದು ಇಪ್ಪುಡು ನೀ ದಗ್ಗರ ಒಂದ ಡೇಟಾ ಏದೈತೆ ಒಂದ ಇದುಂದಿ ಕದಾ ಏಂಟಿ ಇಪ್ಪುಡು ನೀ ದಗ್ಗರ ಡೇಟಾ ಏದುಂದಪ್ಪ ನಮ್ಮ ದಗ್ಗರ ಸಬ್ಮಿಟ್ ನಿಂಚ ಹೊಚ್ಚನಾಕ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಕೇಳ್ತಾಮಾ ಇಕಡ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಕೇಳ್ದಾಮ ಓಕೆ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಲೋ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಉಂದಿ ಅಂತ ಜೆಪ್ಪೆವು ಅವನಾ ಆಮ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಪಿ ಐ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ ದಟ್ nothing we are mentioning where i need to take the templates that's it some something what my point is here what her point is like uh, my my request to her is we have done already jdbc this pdbc okay python database coming now i am asking her to put a button in a front end page i say i click on a insert button data should insert i'll call my normal py file my normal py file is a function to me here now i'll say tomorrow what i'll say i'll put one more button i'll put one more form to her this one what i'm asking her to do like this okay to do like this so i'll say display i'll say display i'll not do all these things okay our form name her, her button name will be insert data okay that is submit only this coming or type is submit name is insert data okay uh and the button better than that button and better than first button name name better than name insert data better than Data. Now I click on this button. What should happen? Data should display. Data, not data should display. It should go and insert data and say, in another page, data has inserted successfully. So now rather than this submit, I'll put a submit button here, uh, insert button here. What you will do? You will enter name, employee name, employee this one. Form data I can take. Any form data I can take. any form that i can take i can put that html into there but for every form data whatever you have my uh, this one is you need to define variable names that that names only we will get into we have whatever we have seen is now get method get method we will we need to take a post we can do with the get method only but secure we want so that's why we will go to post that we can see tomorrow are you clear ha huh? 